Hello Aries, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal reading and um, everything else about this channel will be in the description box below. Also, you can go ahead and check my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com, if you want to keep in touch with me, if you have any inquiries as well. Okay? You can also sign up in my um, newsletter for from that um, site, okay? We'll keep in touch. <laughs> All right, so this is for Aries. What do we have for you in love, Aries? What do we have for Aries in love? Tell us more. What do we have for Aries in love? This is for Aries and Moon Rising and Venus and Jupiter. In love. You have the Nine of Swords. The Moon. The Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Five of Coins. The Five of Swords. Okay. The Five of Cups. A lot of people are having regrets this week, huh? <laughs> The King of Coins and the Temperance. The Five of Cups have been, has been showing up, at least for this week. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Coins. Underneath that is the Four of Cups. So, Aries. Wow. Let's see what do we have here. Oh, wow. So, Aries, in this connection... Um, you're, you're dealing with someone, Aries, who, who has a lot of regrets in terms of, who has a lot of regrets, yeah, of what they have done in the past or why things did not work out in the past or there's a lot of disappointments here, I feel. Somebody here may also have regretted, um, you know, not giving, up, giving their best, yeah, in this connection. Because if they did, it would have reached to a point of stability. It would have reached to a point of um, commitment, if that is something that you both wish for. But it's, it appears like somebody here have missed an opportunity or they feel that they missed an opportunity with you. That's the way I see it. Because I feel, Aries, you've walked away from this connection. Although it's very hard for you to do that because I feel that you want this connection. You love this person. You feel like, they are the one for you, but I feel that you also walked away. Yeah. You walked away frustrated. You walked away. You're not feeling great by walking away, but I feel that for you, that was the, the way to go is to walk away because this person is not giving sort of justice in, in the connection that you have. It could be imbalance. It could be, it could be um, the lack of effort on their part. Mm-hmm. It could also be areas that you're dealing with someone with anxiety or anger management or anger issues, anger management issues, yeah, or anxiety, dealing with um, anxiety as well as um, for some, this could also be someone with um, depression. And it's pretty hard to, it's challenging to, to deal with it. No matter how much you love a person, that that sort of um, in a connection where the other party is experiencing some some things, then it's it's really tough. It's really tough to get on. Some people can can make it by doing by going through um, support um, group or support groups or the therapy and all that, but. At the same time, Aries, you love this person, but I do sense that there could be some issues that they are dealing with here. Mental um, related issues. That is very hard to, at least, at least on your part, you find it very hard to get on with it. Yeah, You may have tried to the best of your ability to... Um, to swim through this, um, you know, to go deeper and try to understand this person, yeah? 
you try to really understand where they're coming from, how you can address, how you can help them. But sometimes we just couldn't get the whole picture, especially if you're not the one experiencing such problems, you know. So like I said, I don't I don't want to go into details of that because but that's the way I see it. Um your person could be dealing with some form of paranoia, um, dealing with some mental related um um issues here i feel and you knew that you tried to address you tried to help but i feel that as of this time um you're getting into a point of feeling as though you are giving just giving and giving but you are not um getting um the energy that would make you feel fulfilled as well in this connection although you love this person you want to be with this person but i feel it was pretty challenging for you and you you've tried your best yeah but you pulled yourself out i think you you've walked away here you've walked away and coming into this reading the person that you're dealing with um aries i feel that um they are still depressed and more so with what happened between the two of you this person knows this person knows that um you know they know that they know that they miss an opportunity with you yeah and this person also knows that only if they could talk to you clearly about the situation perhaps you can still attain the um the commitment the stability back into this connection mm -hmm. i do see them wanting to come forward and possibly offer you some opening here them expressing how they feel when you walked away they would like to express their uh, regrets um i feel that there's going to be uh, some sort of emotional conversation that would take place between the two of you once this person comes in comes back yeah but the goal here is that they want to achieve this they want to achieve that um, stability with you they want to be with you they want to continue um, putting effort into this connection and um, possibly get this going in a moderated pace. Yeah. So I see someone coming back, Aries, for you. Um, and you know what? I feel that you would also be taking this person back because you love this person. It's just that the circumstance or the situation was... Let me see. The situation was pretty um, possibly challenging to to handle. Although you did your best, you give it all. You tried to understand every inch, every angle in the situation. But at the end of the day, you need to receive love as well in order for you to be fulfi fully fulfilled in this connection. In order for you to have that emotional um, fulfillment. Um, you need to have that give and take. But I feel here you're the one giving and giving because you understand that too, that this person needs a lot of nurturing, needs a lot of giving until they, um, you know, until the situation is or the issues that they are, encou that they are encountering is um, moderated or something. Yeah. But I feel this person will come back and we'll try to see if, We'll talk to you and see whether there is a possibility to deal with this situation in um, moderately. Like nothing too intense on a day-to-day -day basis, but I feel that a conversation would be around um, finding a common ground, yeah? And also openness, yeah? That you would invest your time, money, and energy into this connection, and so would they. But in times when the other person is feeling left out or the other person is not happy anymore, speak it up. And I feel that you will get into that uh, sort of discussion on how to go about it moving forward. Yeah. As of the moment, I feel that you, you have departed the building. But this is you needing that space, yeah, to recharge your energy. Because I feel you have been drained out in this connection, yeah? You have been drained. And this is the me time kind of energy, but I do see somebody coming in. 
and opening up to you. Opening up to you of the current, how they feel about the current situation and that they would still want this back. Yeah. But for now, it's your alone time to recharge, reboot, go to the beach, you know, recharge your energy. So you, 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 that, that's good for you too. Yeah. Answering the call, the time is now. So that is also a message that um, if ever this person comes back or if this person calls you, I feel that um, I think it's not bad to, to just answer the call because I see that their intention here is, is quite good. It's, it's, it's authentic. Yeah, it's authentic. But again, it's up to you, you know, because if you have been through this route you know, over and over again, of course, nobody can tell you that, okay, try it one more time. <laughs> it's up to you. But I feel that with this approach right here, with this person's intention right here, it's pretty authentic. Yeah. And they are regretful. They are also disappointed for how things have went or have gone. Sorry. So messages for Aries, please. I look at your picture often. Yeah, this person misses you. But they may not be very um, proactive in reaching out. But this person misses you, especially if you have shown them, you know, when you are fully invested, you gave it your all. Yeah, hoping that you would attain the Ten of Coins with them. They miss that. Yeah, hardly you can find people nowadays who would stick to you, who would stick with you in a connection through thick and thin yeah and i feel this person can feel that you did that for them in their lowest moments you're there yeah i got spooked <laughs> okay so i feel that this right here it's more like several times i think in the past few weeks this person may have wanted to call you but they hesitated yeah so the next time this person would call, like I said, there is that pure, um, authentic um, intention to reach out. So the advice here for you is to answer the call. <laughs> All right. But again, it's up to you. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope this gives you insights, Aries. And um, let me know in the comment section below. I'm pretty interested, you know, to see, share your story and let me know how this transpired in your situation. If it doesn't, um, check out your other signs and in, in your chart. And um, I do have um, all the readings for all the other signs in my channel. So you, you could also check out those videos. They could also be insightful. If you like this reading, give me a thumbs up and um, click on the subscribe button. And you can also um, click on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post new videos. You can get more insights as well as... Um, notification whenever i go live i invite you to join me every monday i do the live reading for the gypsy monday nights tarot and that's 7 30 p.m eastern okay so i do readings for all signs live so we can also chat online okay it's gonna be fun yeah otherwise um check out my weekly readings my monthly readings in my channel and don't forget to subscribe all right if you're inclined otherwise if this is where we part ways thank you for stopping by